I can just tell. It's good from far, but oh, far from deep. good. Yeah. It's a. Uh, Oh, well, that's a dead giveaway, isn't it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, you but only you need say, to pass it once. At first glance. This is the RCMP's National Anti-Counterfeiting Bureau, where experts examine every fake bill that ends up in the hands of Canadian police. Most of the fakes are clumsy, yet all of these bills were passed at least once. Well, they've what? used sparkles. Yes, yeah, like from wrapping paper. A recent case in Regina involved particularly poor imitations. So we could see that they had actually cut out uh, the security window from a, a real $5 bill and pasted it to the counterfeit $100 bill and counterfeit $50 bill. Um, so you could see that the faces didn't match and the numbers didn't correspond. It's more of a challenge to the counterfeiter to produce these and uh, the simulation of some of the security features has been very poor. It's all due to the introduction of plastic money four years ago to combat what was rampant counterfeiting in Canada. Just a few years ago, this lab received 35 to 45,000 individual counterfeit bills every month. Last month it received and processed just 1,500. Here, specialists examine every banknote using powerful microscopes, different sources of light for court cases, and to monitor the techniques used by counterfeiters. It has a plastic feel, but it's actually paper. So how is that? It would be a, a coated. Really? Coated. Okay, because it does feel plasticky. Under the microscope, it's easy to see the fine detail of the raised ink on this genuine $20 note. Here's a fake. Well, this is the eyeball, and you can see the lack of line work, yeah. uh, lack of resolution. When copying polymer bills is this hard, some counterfeiters opt to copy old paper bills such as this $100 note. This one is a pretty good fake, hard to spot with a naked eye, even when passed under ultraviolet light but it's a copy of an old paper note, and polymer's a lot tougher to copy. And so far, the attempts to do so are pretty crude. And they're always doing that. Nothing is counterfeit proof. Um, anything can be simulated. There are reports of more sophisticated counterfeit polymer in Mexico and Australia. For its part, the RCMP says it shares all information about what it sees with the Bank of Canada, which is already looking at producing a new series of polymer notes, which will be even tougher to copy. Alison Crawford, CBC News, Ottawa.